all right what is up everyone today I'm going to be showing you how to build a simple web scraper with node.js uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the reddit homepage and we're just going to be extracting the titles of these main posts here we're not going to be doing anything uh, special with these we're just going to extract them and console log them all right so first of all getting started you're gonna need node.js and node package manager installed on your computer so if you don't have those installed I'll leave a link to a video in the description and then uh, to a to an installation video and uh, pause the video watch those install node.js and node package manager and then come back if you already have node.js and node package manager installed we're just gonna go ahead and open our terminal let's clear that and we're, uh, let's go to our desktop CD actually I'm gonna go home CD desktop all right we're gonna make our project folder uh, let's just call it scraper CD scraper now we're going to get our package.json so npm init we're just going to be using our defaults and now uh, we have our package.json now we're going to be using two node modules in this uh, for this web scraper the first module is called request and request is just going to be responsible for sending a git request to reddit.com and having it return to us the HTML of the reddit homepage the second node module is called Cheerio and uh, it's, it's just a, uh, a basically a lightweight version of jQuery and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna help us traverse the DOM of the web page that is returned to us via the request module so we're gonna go ahead and install those npm install request and Cheerio we're going to save them gonna take a few seconds here all right so got those installed if we just LS we see we have our node modules here if we go in and we have a whole bunch of stuff but yeah they're they're in there all right so now we're gonna open our text editor I have Adam gonna open our project folder uh, desktop scraper all right so what we didn't do we need to create our app.js folder so if we go back a directory here and we're going to touch app.js and this is where we're, we're gonna write all of our code here all right, so first things first, we're going to need to import request and Cheerio. So var request equals require request var Cheerio equals require Cheerio. All right, so now we can use Cheerio and request in this app. All right, so now we're going to say request. We're going to be jumping straight into the request. Uh, variable here HTTPS I'm gonna type in the reddit uh, homepage reddit.com and then we're gonna give it a callback function this callback function is gonna take three parameters the error parameter response parameter and the body parameter alright so now that we're here we need before we decide to do anything with the data that's supposed to be returned to us we need to make sure that the request we sent was a good request so we're going to say if not error and res dot status code equals 200 then do this this is just saying if everything is okay then we want to do this var dollar sign equals cheerio dot load body remember Cheerio is our lightweight version of jQuery that's going to 
allow us to traverse the DOM. In this case, we're going to be traversing body. Body is our one of the parameters here from our request that we sent to reddit.com. Body is holding all of the HTML code of the reddit.com homepage. All right, so now that we have uh, our HTML document inside of this dollar sign variable, we need to go and figure out what parts of this document do we need to select specifically? What parts do we want to extract data from? So we want to go over to our reddit.com uh, homepage here. And uh, we're going to right click this first link and hit Q to inspect it. And we're going to see that uh, uh, our information here that we're looking for, this Chick-fil-A uh, title here, is inside of a link with the class of title that is inside a paragraph with the class of title. So this, uh, this might be something that we want to select. If we go to the second link, this tardigrade link, we can see it follows the same pattern tardigrade this is the the information that we're looking for inside of a link with the class of title and inside of a paragraph with the class of title so we we want to use that selector in order to uh, we want to use that selector in a for each so we can traverse over all of those posts and extract the information that we need from it so if we say dollar sign all of the paragraphs with the class of title all the anchors with the class of titles dot each function and boom what this is saying is we want to select all of the anchor tags that have the class of title that are inside of a paragraph with the class of title and we want to do something with every one of those that you find and the thing that we want to do we want to hold we want to create a variable called post equals this and we're going to console log post and we're going to see if we're done we're just going to type in node app.js to run it and uh, as you can see, we're getting a whole lot of a lot of stuff here. Looks like a big. We're going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to go back and say console dot log a big old line here to see where all this stuff cuts off. And we're going to go back to our terminal, clear it, node app dot js. We're going to okay. Now we have our lines. It's going to take this bottom object. We have a, a a whole bunch of objects here, and uh, some of the information in this object we have our we see we have a type of tag, and the name of the tag is the anchor. We have our a tag, so we know we're getting the, getting the right information, the right tag. Uh, so we're just going to we're going to go back and we're going to access this first object here inside of initialize. So Let's go over, let's go back. This at index, well not index, this isn't technically index zero, this is dot notation. This is dot zero, but regular old dot wouldn't work if we're trying to, in, in this context, since it's a number. Now we're gonna go back and node app.js. Okay. So we have everything that was inside of that zero object. Uh, ch -ch -ch, let's see, type name. Children. Look, that I think children is something that we will be interested in. That's going to hold uh, everything that's inside of the anchor tag. So we're going to go back to our code. Dot children. It looks like children is in an array, so we we probably we will need to access the zeroth 
index of children since it's an array of one object so we're gonna go children at index 0 save we're gonna go back node app.js Looks like the same stuff here. Let's see what's going on. Wait a second. Oh, we have our, if we, if we go up, data. Dad reflex kicks in when the child is in danger this sync these look like these look like our posts these look like the titles that we were looking for the chick-fil-a broke from tradition okay so yeah this is what data is the 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 last uh last piece of information that we want to add to our post here so if we go back to our code and add dot data clear it node app.js Okay, so as you can see, we have all of our titles, uh, all of our headlines here from our, uh, let's close this, from our Reddit homepage. They might not be in the exact same order, but let's see, Chick-fil-A opens Sunday, Tardigrades, former friend borrows money from da da da, -da prevent carpal tunnel, and as you can see, you can scroll down and see that we've gotten all of our headlines from our Reddit homepage. Uh, via some JavaScript. So that is, uh, that's going to wrap up this video. That's how to scrape a website for a particular piece of information in using Node.js. Thank you. Please subscribe.